So we should be ready for the last uh, session of the day. It seems we have some competition with the uh, uh, visits of the uh, uh, LHC uh, experiments. But if I understand, uh, your talk uh, is on, on Indico as well, so people will be able to, to catch up uh, uh, with you. So I'm looking forward to, to, hear, to hear you since we are continuing our world tour of, uh, of ADS uh, uh, projects. Now we're moving to, to Japan and uh, Professor Pion uh, will uh, give his presentation. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, I'm talking about this uh, uh, thorium uh, loaded ADS experiment uh, carried out uh, uh, at our institute. Uh, we have a, a small critical assembly and uh, two accelerators, including uh, uh, 14 MeV neutrons by DT reactions and 100 MeV protons. Okay, uh, let me start my talking. Uh, this slide shows the uh, uh, contents of my presentation. Uh, <coughs> At the, uh, starting from the uh, background and purpose, uh, secondly, to talk about the composition of the uh, ADS in our university, uh, including uh, with the combined use of uh, uh, Kyoto University critical assembly and uh, fixed field alternating gradient or, or FFAG accelerator uh, mentioned in a previous session. Uh, especially to emphasize uh, the this thorium uh, to study plate uh, irradiation experiment at first in critical state. Uh, next stage, uh, we irradiate this, uh, and also the, uh, we carried out the thorium uh, study to load the ADS experiment in subcritical state. In subcritical state, uh, we investigated uh, the static and the kinetic analysis, uh, especially in uh, static analysis, so, uh, we uh, measured the, uh, the profile of the uh, thorium to study to uh, capture reactions, uh, for, especially for the uh, summer neutron. And uh, also that we carried out this uh, uh, experiments uh, of a kinetic, uh, especially the subcritical, the bivalent uh, cross spectrum and uh, external source uh, neutrons. I will summarize uh, my presentation. It's related. Okay. Uh, this slide shows the background of my presentation. Uh, as you know, on this, uh, uh, the original concept of uh, ADS is to produce energy and uh, transmute the minor actinide and uh, uh, long-lived fission products. Uh, in this uh, ADS, especially with the use of uh, uh, thorium, uh, this. Uh, study is to pursue uh, the energy amplifier system. So, uh, on the basis of the, this uh, background, and we uh, investigated and uh, we uh, conducted the preliminary study on uh, fission and uh, capture reactions leading to the uh, this conversion ratio, uh, and especially in a critical state. And on the basis of the, this knowledge in uh, uh, experimental results. Uh, we carried out this uh, thorium ADS uh, experiment uh, for variation of the cross spectrum and an external neutron source. The purpose of the, this study is to conduct this uh, thorium to study to convergence study preliminary in a critical state. Uh, second, to investigate the uh, neutronic characteristics uh, of the thorium ADS through the experiment and the accuracy of the uh, MCNPX analysis. This is a rough image of uh, our ADS uh, composition. Whoa. Starting from the electron lineup, which has uh, 11 MeV neutrons and 5 mA uh, ampere intensity, uh, through the discharge conversion, uh, finally we can get this uh, uh, proton beam uh, of 100 MeV and uh, 1 nano ampere. And uh, we can uh, inject this uh, 100 uh, MeV protons into the uh, critical assembly. At that time, so we can obtain the maximum power of uh, uh, 
100 Watt. And neutron yield is 11th power of 10. Uh, neutron yield is 11th power of 10. This picture shows uh, the FFAG accelerator, and this is the main ring of the, this accelerator. Also, this picture shows a uh, main ring of the FFAG accelerator uh, through this uh, little complicated beam line. Uh, we can inject this kind of the uh, critical assembly. This critical assembly means a kind of the reactor. Uh, this airway, this airway is, uh, for example, the fuel area, uh, fuel area, and surrounded by the polyethylene. And these are uh, control and safety loads. Is that this is uh, another uh, neutron source of uh, emission beryllium uh, in critical assembly. Well, uh, this slide shows a uh, uh, very uh, simple understanding uh, of the conversion of the thorium fuel cycle. For example, that this is a very well known uh, concept of the conversion. Uh, and capture reactions starting from the, uh, this uh, thorium, and we can finally the, uh, this thorium uh, uranium to 33, and uh, we we're expecting uh, uh, this fission by this uh, thorium to uh, sorry it's, uh, uranium to 33. But uh, in our institute, uh, our critical assembly uh, doesn't have a, a very uh, high power. Uh, so uh, we uh, now is a pay attention to the uh, this following uh, uh, reactions for the first time uh, for the capture reactions uh, we only the pay attention to the, this uh, process and instead of uh, uh, this uranium to thirty three fission we uh, pay attention to the uh, thorium thirty two fission which has an uh, one AVB. Uh, neutron uh, threshold of the uh, one AVB neutrons. Uh, this picture shows uh, the uh, our critical assembly uh, image. Our critical assembly has an, uh, this kind of the pure assembly, which has an uh, two inch by two inch and one of sixteen inch uh, thickness pure plates. And uh, we have an uh, uh, atom moderator and the reflector. We use uh, as a polyethylene plate, uh, the same size, and the uh, bivalent uh, thickness is uh, uh, one over eight inch, one over four inch, one over two inch. Uh, we composed uh, this kind of fuel cell, uh, unit cell, and in this case, is a uh, uh, fuel cell has an uh, a set of six and. Uh, we inserted this uh, fuel uh, cells and sandwiched by the polyethylene pr uh, blocks, uh, upper and lower and side. We inserted this uh, road in the core. This is uh, a picture on the left side. This is top view of a critical assembly. This F means that this fuel assembly, fuel assembly and surrounded by the polyethylene blocks. And we have um, six uh, control and uh, safety loads uh, like this. The only uh, drawback of this facility is to locate this, uh, the external neutron source uh, the outside uh, of the core because uh, Japanese uh, nuclear regulation is uh, very strict and uh, we cannot uh, insert or the move the, this uh, uh, external neutron source location into the, the center of the core. So we remain in the location of the, this external neutron source. This is an example of the, uh, the 14 MeV neutrons case uh, of uh, our ADS system. Uh, uh, this slide shows uh, uh, the, on the left side, this is a top view of the uh, elaboration experiments core in critical state. Uh, this on the uh, light side is this is a, a normal pure assembly uh, composition. We insert uh, just one plate of a thorium 
uh, to study to into the this center of the uh, uh, this uh, field assembly, or uh, like this, and we compose uh, this kind of uh, core, and we elaborated this uh, thorium study to plates. Uh, the two two watt and uh, elaboration time is uh, uh, just one hour. This picture shows uh, the spectrum of the uh, gamma ray spectrum of uh, after irradiation of the uh, thorium study to plates. And this, uh, this uh, table shows uh, the critical condition of the core. Uh, the, for example, the uh, neutron flux level is uh, uh, just uh, seventh power of 10. And the cadmium ratio, which is a, a spectrum index of a, a core, uh, almost a, a cadmium ratio is a three. And uh, when we compared uh, measurements and calculation by the MCNPX, uh, the accuracy of the C over E value is uh, uh, within a four percent. From this result, uh, we make sure uh, the accuracy of the uh, experiments uh, and it is good to evaluate this uh, uh, experimental condition on the basis of the Monte Carlo approach. Uh, using uh, this uh, spectrum, we deduce, deduce the, uh, the action rates of uh, uh, this capture and efficient reactions of uh, uh, thorium to 32. Unfortunately, uh, from these results, uh, the accuracy of uh, uh, C over E body is not good, uh, especially this uh, capture reactions is, uh, the uh, ratio is not uh, so good. But uh, inst uh, to the contrary, the fission reactions, uh, this uh, the accuracy of the about is thirty percent. But uh, in this case, is uh, uh, we utilize the uh, thorium plate. Thorium plate is. Uh, uh, size is uh, two inch by two inch by one over eight inch. So uh, as this has an certain of the uh, volume, and uh, in the case of a uh, general irradiation experiments, uh, we generally the, uh, use the very small and tip like tip or the uh, small uh, pure. Uh, uh, how to say is a uh, a foil. So, in, uh, compared with this foil, uh, this uh, plate is very large. So, uh, from these kind of the experiments, uh, because of the, the uh, volume of the thorium plates, uh, we obtained uh, this kind of uh, accuracy of, accuracy of uh, C over E values. Well, uh, on the basis of uh, this a result of the uh, irradiation experiments, we carried out uh, thorium loaded areas experiments. In this case, uh, we investigated uh, the thorium fission reactions. Uh, this picture shows uh, 10 inch by 10 inch by, uh, and the, also the 10, about the 10 inch uh, length, uh, this uh, top view of the core. And we injected the proton beams, and we set this uh, a tungsten target uh, at the location of the uh, target uh, uh, this position, this location, and we injected the proton beams, and uh, we composed the uh, thorium core and set in a uh, lot surrounded by this uh, uh, these kind of the neutron detectors, and also the. Uh, we carried out another experiment with the use of the thorium plates and the graphite. Uh, we expected uh, this kind of the, uh, the change of the neutron spectrum and also the, uh, the change of the core size, uh, expected that core size in these experiments. With the combined use of the experiments and uh, MCMP X calculations, uh, we make sure uh, the existence of the uh, thorium fission reactions of the, uh, these neutron uh, reaction rate distribution uh, in these experiments. 
uh, prior to the, uh, it's a talking about this actual ADS, Torium ADS experiments, uh, we should rem remind this, uh, what is important uh, things uh, in the analysis of the ADS. Uh, we're thinking about uh, the, these three kinds of the parameters. Uh, for example, when we bury the disk parameters, what happened in the core, uh, especially in the ADS? First one is uh, neutral spectrum in the core. Second one is uh, a subcriticality in the core. The finally, the uh, target or the, the what we call the external neutron source. These three kinds of the parameters are very important in ADS. Uh, this picture shows uh, on the left side is uh, uh, this is the proportionality of the cross section of the uh, thorium and the indium because uh, we are uh, used uh, this kind of the foil activation method with the use of the uh, niobium and indium uh, for the, our uh, static experiments of ADS. And on the light side, uh, you can easily find out the difference between, uh, for example, the in case of 100 MeV protons, and the uh, lower picture shows is, uh, uh, the case of uh, 14 MeV neutrons. Uh, spectrum is uh, a little different, and also the, uh, you, can, you can see easily the uh, difference between the spectrum uh, of the core. Uh, when we buried uh, the polyethylene, graphite, beryllium, highly enriched uranium, and also the uh, natural uranium and the polyethylene cases. This uh, slide shows uh, the experimental results. Uh, thorium ADS with uh, 14 MeV neutrons. This picture shows uh, the uh, core, top view of the core. Uh, in this case, is, uh, we uh, composed the uh, uh, core with the use of the thorium and the polyethylene uh, graphite. And this one is uh, uh, thorium and uh, uh, highly enriched uranium and polyethylene. Is finally, this one is uh, 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 natural uranium and uh, polyethylene. As you can see, uh, the horizontal axis is uh, a distance from the target. The vertical axis is the uh, reaction rates per of it's a neut external neutron source. You can easily find it's a difference between uh, uh, the change of a cross spectrum, and also the uh, through the, this kind of the experiment we. Uh, confirm the defect of the neutral spectrum of a profile of a uh, thorium capture reactions for 14 MeV neutrons. And uh, with the use of the, this experiment's result, we compared uh, these experiments and the calculation uh, with the use of the MCMPX. As you can see, the, uh, we, we got uh, the very good agreement between the uh, two experiments and calculation. Although the, uh, the effective uh, neutral modification factor is uh, very low, but it's, uh, uh, we don't find out the so uh, serious discrepancy between uh, experiments and uh, calculations. And also, the, uh, when we uh, change uh, the external neutron source, uh, the Upper side, this is the, in the case of 100 MeV protons. This profile is, these profiles are very valid. Uh, it's uh, according to the change of uh, uh, the uh, moderation and the reflector uh, is the materials. And also, the, compared with the two figures, uh, you can easily find out the, the difference between uh, 100 MeV protons and 14 MeV protons for profile of uh, uh, thorium capture reactions. This uh, picture shows a uh, very uh, typical uh, order. Uh, we, uh, our expected result uh, of the kinetic ADS experiments. For example, the, we uh, set this, uh, this kind of core, but 
we change the external neutron source, uh, 100 MeV protons and uh, 14 MeV uh, neutrons. Uh, when we pay attention to the baseline of the, this, uh, of the two figures, this baseline mean is that delayed neutrons uh, in the core uh, in generated by the external neutron source. This baseline is almost different. Uh, and also that this area means the prompt neutron uh, behavior of uh, uh, external neutron source. Uh, from this uh, figure, we measure and we deduce a prompt neutron uh, decay constant, what we call the alpha value. Uh, in fact, this alpha value is uh, different from the each other. And also, the, uh, we deduce the subcriticality, this baseline of the delayed neutrons and uh, uh, the summation uh, area of the, this delayed neutron. And also, the, uh, we, uh, uh, this uh, prompt neutrons uh, areas, we deduce the subcriticality with the use of the two area of the uh, neutron behaviors. And we obtain this. And we compared the two results, uh, and we uh, it's applied to the uh, conversion of the uh, experiment result into the uh, what we call is a uh, uh, it's a PCM unit in the reactor physics field, and we compared the three kinds of the data. Uh, compared with, the, for example, the, this MCMP X calculation. Uh, two experiment values uh, were the almost different, and also the, compared with the two experiment results is also different from the, each other. From this result, uh, we should uh, remind uh, it is better to uh, use this kind of beta effective, this is a, a effective delayed neutron uh, fraction. It is better to use uh, when we change the external neutron source and to deduce that the subcriticality, it's okay or not. But uh, this is a very typical result, and uh, we uh, concluded uh, this better effective is to evaluate uh, precisely the, by uh, the changing of the, uh, the external neutron source. Uh, uh, like this, okay. Okay. Uh, in addition to the uh, previous ADS experimental result, we contributed uh, uh, another as a uh, ADS benchmark of a thorium uh, plates like this. This is a, a core a list of the uh, thorium loaded core. Uh, the K effective is a. Uh, uh, where the obtained the like this, and also the uh, the for the three uh, seven cores, uh, we evaluated the external neutron source, and also the we uh, is uh, deduced uh, the subcriticality with the use of the two uh, PNS and uh, noise method. So we said this uh, we prepared this uh, these uh, experimental data, and we contributed these data for ADS. Uh, February the, this year. Okay. Uh, I would like to summarize my presentation. Uh, for the first time, as, uh, uh, we started uh, ADS project in our institute, and uh, we successfully carried out, carried out this uh, thorium study to try the radiation experiment in critical state, and also the in subcritical state, uh, we conducted this. A comparative study of a thorium to study to ADS experiment, especially uh, with the use of 100 MeV protons and 14 MeV neutrons. At uh, the future plans, uh, this uh, thorium ADS uh, is pursuing on the uh, energy amplifier system, so uh, we are now investigating the, the accuracy of the subcritical parameters, uh, uh, multiplication and uh, case source. And another is a process of the, uh, in the conversion analysis, uh, especially for the uranium to study three capture and, uh, uh, and uh, the fissions. 
And uh, finally, the, uh, we will investigate the probability of a conversion analysis in subcritical state. Last one. Uh, we are now organizing this uh, the International Conference of the Physics uh, of the Reactor in uh, 2014, held at the Kyoto uh, next year. Uh, the, we have an, uh, it's, uh, 15 uh, tracks and of uh, 80 special session, eight special session. And also, that we are preparing a, a one-day workshop, uh, which has an uh, ADS uh, subject. So please access to the, this URL. Thank you very much. Well, thank you for sharing with us your results and uh, your future plans. Let's see if there are any uh, questions or, or comments. Yeah, there is one over there. Hi. Uh, as far as I understood, you use 100 MeV protons on tungsten target, right? Yes. Uh, I'm, I'm curious, uh, what is the neutron multiplicity there? Because I guess uh, uh, for spallation reaction, the threshold is above 100 MeV. You mean it's uh, uh, the difference between uh, the two sources? Uh, no, the number of neutrons you produce per proton. Proton number of protons? Yes, per no, no, no. The number of neutrons per proton. Ah, okay. Because the threshold is yes, it's, uh, oh, I see. So. Uh, in the case of the uh, hundred MeV protons, uh, the neutron yield is uh, so zero point five uh, neutron over protons. Yeah. Okay, fine. Any other uh, question? Uh, yes. It's a very one. nice presentation. Uh, I was in Kyoto in 1984 when Professor Ichiro Kimura invited me, and I had seen the uh, Kuka facility related work. That time you had uh, loaded uh, thorium and you had published a paper in the Japanese journal. Was that benchmarked in ICS BEP? Yes. It was benchmarked? Benchmark is, yeah. Uh, sorry. Uh, I'm talking about the international uh, criticality experimental benchmark published by the USDOE. It's uh, different from the, uh, the previous benchmark. So it's different. Yes. Yeah. So previous one also was not seen in that handbook. That's why I'm asking. So you don't have the culture of benchmarking in the international handbook, your experience. Yes, yes. It should be done if possible. And uh, regarding this 100 MeV protons and the 14 MeV neutrons. Yes. I would rather like to see a comparison of the neutron spectrum, 14 MeV neutron spectrum we know, and the neutron spectrum coming from the 100 MeV protons. Yeah. So that comparison graph do you have? This one? No, the exact neutron spectrum. Spectrum, yes. This is neutron spectrums. The top one? This one is a 100 MeV proton case. Okay. Uh, with the use of a tungsten target. Oh, okay. This okay, one is this, uh, okay. 14 MeV neutrons. Okay. No, thank you. Yes, Jean-Pierre. You, you think the situation in Japan uh, could change in such a way that you get more support for ADS systems in the future? Uh, this is a very fuzzy state uh, because uh, uh, Japanese, AD, Japanese ADS is, uh, the, the objective of Japanese ADS is to uh, pursue the, the neutron transmutation. Uh, but it's, uh, now we are waiting for the construction of the JAEA JPAC uh, facility. Uh, mm, prior to the, uh, the actual operation of the JAEA facility, uh, we are it's a contributing uh, experimental data. Uh, so, but it's a strategy, uh, oh, sorry, uh, it's uh, uh, the actual. Uh, Activity is not is a little fuzzy state, so only the now this uh, study is uh, academic stage. Okay, thank you.